Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Trancy Worlds. I am Animus01. Today we're going to try to get to the rest of Blaze Cave. And it gets worse from here. Alright. Gotcha. So, I went back and got more bombs and stuff. Kind of lost the quite a few of my hearts cause partly because I fell into the lava along the way. That's alright. As long as I didn't have to use a potion, I'm alright. There will be a point where I have to use that potion like oh. I thought this was pretty neat. I just a little tunnel to connect the two parts of the dungeon. I think I'm hanging into what I would call unexplored territory right or not. Now this is a change of pace. Let's see what's in here. So instead of moblins and bats, we got whiz robes and style foes. So if you're ever feeling low in hearts, this would be the place to go. Alright, well we got a key, so let's go ahead and Whoa, so now we're on top of the castle, this ruined castle apparently. You know, I can make a good backstory for this castle, but I can't think of anything. Okay, there's apparently nothing in this end. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is a stairwell. I'm gonna go for the stairwell. Well, what is it? I already have the, the um, armor. Hmm. Well, we'll figure out what it does later. Anyway, we're going to head onward. There's two secret um, walls here. Ow. Whoa. Let's see, there's one wall over here. Where does that take us? Oh, just a bunch of bats and moblins again. And fires. And one, one more is over here. Okay, apparently there's no way across. Well, as soon as I... Oh! The, um... Apparently that ring allows me to step on, um... On, um, dangerous, um... Ground for a short time. Because it drains my magic power when I... My step on it. I guess it's like the boots from Mysteria. But... But when I made it, the boots didn't quite seem to make sense for some parts. Because I'd I end up touching bosses and I'd lose magic power as opposed to health. And you know, I did not know this. I could walk. I actually walk more slowly on the lava than, than I do on the land when I use it. I guess that's something from 2.5. Let's see. Can I get some magic? Yeah. Okay, that's good anyway. So now we're heading to the third part of the dungeon. And it looks like an open area. Whoa! And this is why it's good to have magic. Now, this place is a bit reminiscent of the Dwarf Cave in Lagoon. I kind of wish I didn't make this very hard, though. Ouch! Yeah, I probably should not have done that. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's about time I um, use this. And 
and that's the boss key. And according to this, there's a stairwell, stairwell north of me. There's the stairwell. I kinda wish my magic didn't drain that slow, um, that fast. Kinda gets annoying. Alright, ah, there we go. So we're heading to the last part of the dungeon. And it is a doozy. You know, at this point, I don't need magic anymore. Good. So, let's go over here. Fire Gliok! Or Blaze Gliok, in this case. Trick is, go for the bats first. If you don't, you'll just regret it later on. Okay. Okay, I think I put the bats here because originally... Uh oh Almost... That was actually easier than I thought. Most people have a hard time with this dungeon, but I went through it with, uh, with a red potion and did just fine. Well, then again, I did create the game, so I do know all the twists and turns in advance. Well, I honestly forgot I made that castle. Okay, here's Riago again. Okay, Link doesn't seem to be around. Maybe went to the Haunted Grove to relax. Now, why would I go there? Seriously, to relax? Well, I, I don't remember a portal being here. I wonder what this is all about. Okay, now Riago stepped through the portal. Actually, it's either Zelda's portal or my portal. So now we're in a completely different place, and also I'm, I made the um, floor tiles myself. I actually thought they looked um, pretty neat with the little triforces on the ground. And apparently we're up high up in the clouds. So it's over here. Um, we'll apparently won't find out till later. Okay, let's head this way. And this way? No, that's... Can't go there. Okay, I think we're going the right way because there are no traps here. Yeah, the sprites aren't really that great, but um, I did my best. Hello, Link. I'm Delania, first stage of Wisdom. You are familiar with the origin of your world, correct? The goddesses did not make one world, but three. Hyrule, the Golden Land, and Wisdom. These worlds were created as places for each of the three goddesses. Din, Fori, and Iru. Din, the goddess of power, settled in the Golden Land. Hyrule was created for Ferrari, the, the goddess of courage. And Wisdom was made especially for Nairu, the goddess of wisdom. The three worlds were close for a time. But when evil was born in Hyrule, the Golden Land Wisdom drifted apart. Ganondorf learned about the Golden Land from the story of the sages who sealed the passages. Of course, you know the story of the Dark World. Three goddesses had left had the sacred Triforce there to keep it out of evil's reach. I cannot tell you more, but seek the remaining Triforce pieces. You will return here to know more. Go to the island. Okay, we need to return to the island. Okay, this is all the time we have. Um, I am Amazur1, and I'll see you on next video.